In a world where one woman tries to start a podcast. How will I ever do this on my own? She thought she would have to get expensive equipment. What? I can do all of this on a free app? She thought she would have to find creation tools all over the internet. You mean it can all be contained in an app on my phone and computer? She thought she would have to do all her own distribution. You mean to tell me this app is going to send it to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and all those other platforms for me? She thought she would never make any money. I don't have to wait for a minimum listenership to monetize? She thought that she would have to find all kinds of different equipment and pieces. But I'm going to download this free Anchor app and get started today. Visit anchor.fm and download the free Anchor app. To be just like her, the ultimate podcaster. Hello, this is the Lou Review. This is Rosa, and Hannah wants to interview me. So, (laughs) (laughs) what would you like to know? Well, this is Hannah with Viking Hat Bakery, and I love listening to all Rosa's uh, interviews. Mm -hmm. They're always inspirational. And it occurred to me, I don't know enough about Rosa. So let's find a little bit about Rosa. First of all, I know you're married with how many children? Two. Yeah. And um, what do you, what is your day job? I'm the stroke nurse navigator for Norton Healthcare. Oh, wow. Well, that's, that's not stressful. No, it's all. delightful, actually. <laughs> so I was actually working in the ICU for eight years before that. And two weeks before the world shut down for COVID, I was hired to be the stroke nurse navigator for Norton Healthcare, which means I get to follow up with stroke patients after they go home to hopefully help them not end up in the hospital again. And that was a very positive transition for me because I had been burnt out (laughs) pre-COVID. Wow. So that was kind of right on time for you then. It was. And I'm immensely grateful and... um, just for that opportunity and I love my job. That's great. So you got to really make that transition mm-hmm. from helping the helping helping your patients in that initial critical time mm-hmm. To the follow-up, which yes. helps them in bloom and mm-hmm. and be, you know, turn into a healthful future, right? Right. And I have held so many people's hands while they died at their bedside, oh. especially like people whose families couldn't be there with them before COVID, just because either they didn't have family or they were estranged or they were a prisoner or whatever. Um, and so... It is so refreshing to get to talk to people who survived wow, <laughs> and I bet. are getting better. And I can call them and talk to them and there's hope because there wouldn't be, I wouldn't be talking to them if there wasn't hope and something right. we could do. So um, that's been transformative for me to have a more hopeful outlook. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, I think you have to be a beautiful human in the beginning to do what you, you know, to begin with, to do what you've done. Aww. So, um, how did you get started with the podcast? (laughs) So, um, around the 4th of July, uh, during COVID, um, my friend saw this new seafood place opening, Pier 17, and he wanted to go check it out, and his uh, roommate didn't like seafood, and he was like, do you want to go with me? You like seafood? And I was like, yeah, I'd like to go, and my husband doesn't like seafood so i was like this is what is wrong with i just want to know what is wrong with all the crazy people who don't like seafood like i don't know but there's more for us that way that's that's true they keep talking about there not being enough fish in the sea so i feel better (laughs) about it at least i'm like it's only me i'm not making my husband eat seafood but then i can enjoy it right right okay good point it's fine with me so um my friend and i went and he was like hey let's review it i'm like okay but you can't so I guess I'm going to write. And he's like, oh, okay. And he's like, actually, let's do a podcast. I've always wanted to do that. I'm like, what is a podcast? <laughs> and he listened to a bunch, and they are always talking about anchor.fm. Mm-hmm. And as you can see, we're just recording on my phone. Right. And i um, not using any fancy microphones or editing software. I just do it in a one shot. You can use it and edit it and stuff like that but it's just so easy to just record it and then you just press the send button and that shares it out to multiple platforms like apple and google and spotify and i don't have to worry about distribution oh wow that's terrific so 
So to yeah. be able to do this, I'm learning a little bit about how mm-hmm. you are, you have the person, the personality to do this. I was going to ask you. I feel like you do now. I, I <laughs> hope so because I told you we're starting one. That's a different thing. That's true. I'll tell you about that later. But yeah. you, this is the Rosa interview. Oh, dear. <laughs> so you have to be able to relate to the people you talk to, which you mm-hmm. seem so easily to <laughs> be able to do because I listen to your podcast mm-hmm. and every Everyone you talk to, it sounds like you're chatting with your friends. Yeah. And so... I told you we end up... <laughs> we end, I end up keeping them as friends. <laughs> I'm like, welcome to my house. I have a soundproof room that we call the dungeon. So we play Dungeons and Dragons in it. And I record my podcasts. They come in. They see how fun the dungeon is. And they want to be my friends. <laughs> right, right. And initially, when you told me, hey, I have a soundproof room in your basement, what did I say? I don't remember. I said that that sounds a little murdery, but I'm going to trust you. That's right. I, I thought the word was kinky, but my bad. Uh, Could have gone either way there. Yeah. It's but, so flexible. <laughs> so, all right. So back to Rosa. So you, I think you must have gotten, you've had to be so, um, to be holding the hands of patients mm-hmm. when they leave this world. Mm-hmm. That is an intimacy mm-hmm. that is unique, and not everyone can do that. Mm-hmm. I was blessed to hold my father's hand when he passed away, but that was my father. Right. You made that connection with strangers. Yes. So you have that ability within you. Do you think you developed it during that time, or have you always just had that ability? I think I've always had that ability. Um, to an extent, I think I've decided to, um, you know, use it (laughs) because Mm -hmm. like you can have, uh, an ability to do something that you don't want to do. Um, but like my mom says, when I was a baby and we, she would take me at the age of under one to the grocery store and everybody would want to talk to me because I was making eye contact. I didn't even know words, but I was making eye contact so people would like, she had six kids. Okay. And none of the others were like that. So she told me I was special and I believed her. <laughs> and now I hear myself and I'm like, oh. You should absolutely believe her. It's but funny. it's so true. Listen, okay, we thought with these masks, like everybody talks about resting bitch face or right? something. And I don't have that. So I'm super approachable, which has made it very difficult going to like malls traditionally where people approach <laughs> you and try to sell you things because they're like, oh, there's a nice face. Right. I'm going for that one. Well, I thought with all these masks, I would be protected. (laughs) Just so you know. It It shines shines through your eyes. I guess. I think people come at me from behind and think (laughs) I need to be friends with this person. And I'm like, it's not my face. I don't know what's going on. (laughs) It shines out of your (laughs) eyes, Rosa. You can't hide it. I can't. It comes to have a whole burka to keep people away from me. I don't think that would work. I still don't think it would work. work. It's your aura. It comes organically out of you. (laughs) And we're laughing, but I do believe it comes organically out of you. Because you just have this natural shine and light about you. I mean, you do. There's no denying that. And as I'm looking around this room of fun, that's just (laughs) what this is, the murdery room of fun. That makes you feel at home and safe. (laughs) Yes. That's how they Yes, yes. Um, I want to ask you about the harp. How did you acquire this Guinness harp? Well, that's a story. Um, first of all, I don't like Guinness. <laughs> Sorry, Guinness. If you want me to be a brand ambassador, it's not going to be for that longer. Oh, we're going to change your mind because you Victor are. makes the most amazing, what is it, the Guinness? Guinness chocolate cake. Oh, it's outstanding. I, am, I support you changing my mind in that area. <laughs> you will because I don't drink beer at all. Okay. And I live for these Guinness Ooh. cakes. Okay. Okay, I'm open to that. So we went to, we were invited to O'Shea's. Uh And I think September of 2020, because um, their marketing person had uh, heard the podcast and he really resonated with it and what we were trying to do, supporting local businesses. And uh, O'Shea's is a local um, Irish pub business. And um, they have a lot of event space. One of their um, spaces has a Guinness harp in it, and I had to pose with it because that's the kind of cheesy (laughs) exhibitionist person I am. And 
I love that picture. It was so fun. I was like, oh, I want one for my dungeon. <laughs> and when we play Dungeons and Dragons, sometimes our characters play music. And I was like, I can stand next to it and pretend to play when I'm <laughs> saying my character plays. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Fantastic. So I looked up on Craigslist and eBay and everything. They're like $450. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, that sounds irresponsible. <laughs> and also, I can't do that. I have plans for my stimulus check. Right. So um, then because I had searched for it, Facebook knows what you want. Right. So Facebook showed me. Thankfully, we had visited my family in Tennessee, and so they showed me one that was $99 in Nashville. Oh, Nashville. A Nash- Facebook is the devil on your yeah. shoulder. Get it. Buy it. Spend right? it. Well, you know you want it. Um, I also had it in my back of my mind, well, if money got tight, I could resell it for a steep profit. Right? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's like way under like its value. Mm-hmm. So um, I asked my dad, and my dad, who is a teetotaler, has never tasted alcohol in his life. Okay. Was very accommodating and went and picked it up from somebody in Nashville for me. And I just sent them the money on PayPal. And And now here it lives. Then my dad had a reason to come visit me. So that was good. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, double bonus right there. Right. So my parents were super confused um, about it because they're like, I know you're drinking alcohol now, but like, why do you need this like, and I was like, this big because emblem it's a of harp, alcohol. I don't care. <laughs> like, it's a harp. So, yeah. That's I'm just awesome. in love with it. And so, yeah. That's great. And by the way, I just have to say, O'Shea's is such a great place. I, oh, I love it them. is. Yeah, I love O'Shea's. Their food, their drinks. Their the atmosphere. atmosphere. <laughs> drinks. Right? Every location drinks, has a... Drinks, buy me a bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or Guinness. That's right. <laughs> Only yeah. if you're going to give me the Guinness victory. Absolutely. Okay. Rosa, how many places have you reviewed oh i need a count i had to restart when i rebranded this spring i started recounting so um and by that i mean like i started the podcast numbers over so i'm gonna be on 16 okay yeah. but i may have been to 100 different restaurants wow. and taking pictures since the 4th of july 2020 wow you are busy yes and a full-time job oh yeah Wow, yeah, this you is are just busy. a hobby. Like sometimes they give me free food, but it's just a hobby. Wow, so. that's fantastic. Now, um, can you? I you don't have to say the name, or you can, <laughs> but can you think of the absolute worst experience you've had in doing this in reviewing? You didn't think I was going there, did you? No, I didn't. My (laughs) eyes got real big. Um, I think being in the murdery room is giving me this dark sense. No, I'm just kidding. Probably it's that sign I said, enter if you dare. (laughs) Um, I get that out for October. Um... The worst experience that I've had, like, in a restaurant? I mean, come on. Has there been a place where you've gone and you've literally either said to whoever is dining out with you or even just in your head, this is the worst yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> How can I think of anything? Pa- How can I review this place? I feel like there it's was so a bad. place now, but the thing is, I think I didn't share any pictures of it, didn't check in there. Because I try to be as positive as I can. I'm trying to spotlight local restaurants. I'm not trying to spread negativity because there's plenty of that. Right. Now, I have put, I think, two negative reviews on Yelp. And they were both pretty intense as far as I get. <laughs> like, so, without bad words, they're scathing. <laughs> so, the, the terrible place, um, can you just, without identifying who they are, can you I tell forgot. us what was really? I think I just blocked it out. And then you just kind of ghosted them as far yeah. as a review concern yeah. it goes. Okay. But so, they, they also didn't invite us there. And so, it's not like they were expecting. Okay. You were oh, just there. Yeah. We're just, but uh, you know, as a chef, I'm a chef mm-hmm. in the restaurant world. My for husband, 30 Victor, years now, mm-hmm. you treat every guest that comes in, yeah, every customer that comes in as special, yeah, and you should. And so, that's <clears throat> what we would hope, right? And mm-hmm. so, see, that's a guy who cooks mm-hmm. and bakes with love and badassery, right? That's what that means. And not all the servers have your big picture mindset. No, they don't. I mean, you know. Or the leader. They may not have leaders that give them. A lot of servers are 
college students that are just mm-hmm. doing it because it's cash yeah. on hand de- on a daily there basis. There are career servers. Though, mm-hmm. and those there are, are career servers, and the, the career servers, servers are, are great. They're the best. Yes, they are. Yeah. They mean what they're doing. Absolutely. And, and there are a lot of college kids that mm-hmm. serve that do an amazing job as yeah. well. Mm-hmm. I served <coughs> at Ruby Tuesday and O'Charlie's and Mitchell's Fish Market before nursing school, and it definitely taught me a lot and I was it's a lot of work it's it hard it's work it's a hard, it's hard job work. it's hard to make money at it but some people really can because mm-hmm. they know what they're doing it's and they're a hard job for yeah. 213 an hour yeah it yeah, is Yeah, it is, and it's still 213 an hour the same as it was 10 years ago, 10 years ago. when right. I was serving right yeah which is atrocious right it is atrocious and I I feel change in the air yeah, about it and I'm my fingers are crossed for that mm-hmm. Rosa can you tell us about your favorite experience I think that's a harder question because at least it's like when you asked me the worst, I was like, I literally could not think of what it was. But now I'm seeing like a reel in my head of all these beautiful places that I've been. (sighs) So if the queen of whatever were coming to visit and you had to, what is the most impressive place you want that person to eat in Louisville? Besides Viking Hat Bakery. Fancy. Um, let's do two categories. Let's do Thank fancy you. and casual. Good. Okay. Casual, that new Paris Bon Me place. Oh, I have not been yet. Gosh. Like, the atmosphere. But I've heard good fantastic. things. fantastic. The Bon Me sandwiches mm-hmm. are so good. Now, I they default put jalapenos on everything. And so I asked for mine without jalapenos because I'm wimp when it comes Same. to Same. And so I recommend have whatever you want there and just say no jalapenos. Okay. It was so good. Ooh, the we're fl- have the to sandwiches go. are six dollars. What? Right? Well, wow. Yeah. I mean it's a bon me, right? So it's just a... Well, you can overcharge for anything. Absolutely. That was just so perfect. And like they have baked goods there. They have like some kind of beef jerky. Um they have boba teas. I'm not a fan of boba because I'm so afraid of aspirating. <laughs> Me too. I, we, but, I feel like we're yeah. each other's spirit animal oh, in some way. We have I the same. <laughs> exactly. Boba, so boba you're going to be a great podcast. Delicious. Host. Oh, I hope. Obviously. What'd you say? Uh, boba teas are delicious. Oh, yeah. So sure. I first well, had, I had that. The lychee tea. Is it, did I oh, say right? Lychee. Lychee. Le- lychee. lychee tea. Yeah. It's so good. Yes. And I just had it without the boba, you know? So. Mm-hmm. Right. So Victor uh, is from Vancouver, Canada. Mm-hmm. And so um, we spent our first first year of marriage up there Mm -hmm. and in the part of Vancouver where we were it was just I mean most of Vancouver is just Asian Mm -hmm. and um so I experienced the boba tea there Mm -hmm. and all different all sorts of different things you know all those years ago Mm -hmm. and now in recent years it's come here and I just can't I'm so positive that I'm going to choke positive I mean I have a very real fear of it. I mean, I mean, I just I think it's tell. logical, Rosa. Thank you. I've watched a lot of people chokes. So. Yeah, great. <laughs> All right, so your so, um, fancy. your favorite fancy. Where are you going to send the queen of whatever made up country? Now the queen of England did come, and she went to the Kentucky Castle, and that is not where I would send her. Right. By the way, for food. Sorry. Right. Um, can I cheat? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Of course. Um, Cheating is allowed. Because I really feel I need to look at my own Instagram feed to jog my memory. Because I want to give you, like, the best answer that I can. I mean, you can give us your handful of your top. Favorites. I can. Yeah. Is that allowed? Yeah, oh, gosh. it's allowed. More. We're making up the rules as we go. <laughs> that is the best. <laughs> that's improv for you. I think that's like, I love. I love grass grandma Oh, It's yeah. expensive, yeah. but, I mean, like... The atmosphere is so great. The food is delicious. Like, I feel like the food can be hit or miss, but I don't care if I'm sitting next to the fountain. Aww. And when we got there last time, they were just passing out shots of Chianti. Oh, and you said, okay. Yes. I'm in my happy place. Yes. And it was like, whatever else they give me is going to taste better now. Right. So, <laughs> um, I went to Everyday Kitchen, and that chef, Mike, is an artist. Yes, yes. And Absolutely. I don't know who could afford to eat there every day. Right. I don't know anybody Some who people. can. Some people can. Some I don't people. think I know them, but um, <laughs> there, it's worth it. Right. I feel like they support local farmers, and we had a four-course meal, and every single bite was just delicious. 
And it was so nice to know that, you know, it was all like consciously prepared with, you know, local produce. Right, so you, right, you right. felt like you're supporting more than just that chef and Absolutely. his work. work. Right. You, you are supporting are. local artisans and farmers. And you're just doing that anyway, Rosie. Right. So it's so a hundred percent like on brand for me. Um, another nice place that's kind of in the middle of the road, I would say is Barcelona Bistro Bar as far as price. The tapas bar. Yeah. Um, we haven't been watching we'll check that out. Yeah, so that place mm. is really delicious. All I know is you're making me really, really hungry. You want some more hunger? Um, yeah. So Brazeros. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now yeah. it's it's. I guess is it technically a chain or because there are know, other yeah. Brazilian steakhouses that there's a model. Well, right. a, the, it adheres to the Brazilian Steakhouse model. model but I right. don't know if it's a chain or not. Or if it's just independently owned. Um, mm-hmm. All that meat was fantastic. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm, yeah. Like, Did you get the meat sweats? No, because <laughs> I didn't eat that much. Like, now my friends, Matt and Greg, did. <laughs> but that, they wanted that, and they chose that ahead of time. What's so, your favorite, um, look, we're just, this is our old yeah. standby. Okay. What's your favorite? This is our Simply old Thai. Oh, yum. Yes. When in doubt, we know we're going to be happy if we go to Simply Thai. Now. Middletown. Because yes. that's different owners oh, than really? the bar town. It is a franchise, but they're different owners. Okay. All right. And We've been to the one in St. Matthews, and mm-hmm. it's amazing. Is it still there? I want to, yeah, I yeah. want to go there, but um, I've never had a bad experience at the Middletown one. We've never had a bad sure. experience at Simply Thai. I have, a, I, have a, mm-hmm. I always... I love hot wings. Yes. And I will challenge the <laughs> chef to make them hot enough that I can't eat them. Okay. And I challenge the chef in Simply Thai. Uh-huh. And for the first time. For the first time, I couldn't eat them. Oh, <laughs> he did And you were happy. I didn't eat them. them but I didn't it was, eat them. But, but he couldn't. Like it, it I mean, was it was, a, he it couldn't was a handle chore. the spice. It was a chore. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're ever on the other side of the river. Bored in you. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, we like board and Good, eat. okay. And if you're ever on the other side of the river and you like Thai food, yeah. Mai's Thai in Jeffersonville. I wondered about that. Oh, Rosie, Well, right now they're only so doing good. takeout. They're only doing takeout. Oh. They're only doing takeout. So, it well, does it has not stopped them from being fabulously <gasps> Oh, I feel popular. so silly. I forgot ceviche. <laughs> oh, ceviche, yes. Another and Sereno. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, there's so many good ones. There's so many good ones. Louisville See, this is, is the hardest. It's a foodie city. city. It's it a, is. It's become a foodie city. And we're so lucky. We are. Oh, you know, and have you been to Korean barbecue? The Goji no, Korean barbecue no. on Barstown Road? Been? No, we need to, though. Need to go there. Definitely. Um, another, I was going to say I another. mean, we can go on all night. I'm sorry. No. But, but you also should go to the GOAT. Oh, yeah, we have been to the yes. GOAT. Yeah. They and, are fantastic. Um, That's a good go-to middle of the road price. Let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. So, in this culture now of, um, you know, a pandemic, our pandemic, let me just mm-hmm. say, in, during the time of the pandemic, mm-hmm. um, the world embraced curbside pickup. Yeah. And as you know, I, I'm still basically in, in uh, quarantine mm-hmm. this whole time. Um, I really don't go anywhere. This is, this is for rare for health, me, yes. for my own mm-hmm. health. Yeah. I do have a condition mm-hmm. um, that makes it highly risky for me. But for my own health, mm-hmm. uh, I, this is special for me to be out somewhere, Thank especially you. in someone's murdery room. I know. <laughs> like, I'm honored on so many levels. <laughs> oh, I'm happy to be here. But we have become so appreciative of curbside pickup. Yes. I cannot tell you. And um, I know the Big Bad Breakfast, uh, the owner of that, Steve, who's a fantastic human by mm-hmm. the way great guy <laughs> he's he's making a point he's designing the restaurant now to have a great carry out spot mm-hmm. in it because he knows carry out is here to stay mm-hmm. carry out is here to stay yes. and um i mean restaurant even with restaurants open now mm-hmm. so have you had any um experiences of curbside pickup or carry out mm-hmm. that has made you fall in love with a restaurant you might not yeah. have even gone to before tell me about Definitely. that um, and so Witchin Pizza. 
Oh, yes. Have you had Witch and Brew? I haven't had it yet. I've been meaning to go there on my list. Girl, Brittany Cummings yeah. is so diligent. She has found a way to make her food portable and stay hot all the way. Like, I drove from downtown where her thing is to 30 minutes out to where I live. And it was still piping hot, and nice. it was delicious, and it didn't, like, since that doesn't work for everything, you keep things too hot too long, they right. don't right. cook, right? Right, right, right. But for a witch and pizza, which is like a pizza sandwich type situation, mm -hmm. I was so impressed with her packaging of that. Nice. And I We follow them on Instagram, and I love what she puts out there. Yes. So um, I need to go try in person. I've been yeah. meaning to. It, that's good comfort food right there. Now, I will say... Any restaurants I'm, that are listening to me, if you want to just copy how Red Robin does takeout, just do that because <laughs> their carryout is impeccable. How so? Like, they have everything individually packaged so it doesn't get soggy. So, a oh, lot of places will, smart. you know, go ahead and load up their burgers. And, it, you know, on the one hand, it's assembled and some people don't want to assemble their stuff. But on the other hand, if you're going to be traveling for 20 minutes, it's right. going to be gross. gross. Right. Time Most time people don't live up. just down the block. From right. Red and if you're Robin. doing DoorDash, there might be a few other deliveries before they get to you or mm -hmm. whatever. So, it's just that. If you're having carry out, don't expect the in restaurant experience. And I think that's an important expectation that you have to have. And so I feel like, you know, places like Red Robin have just owned that. Like, that's not what this is. But here's the actual food in the best condition. Yeah. It can be in a good temperature when it gets to you. That's great. Um, and so that was really impressive to me. Plus, they have really sturdy um, to-go containers that snap shut. Oh, good. Instead of like so the clamshells. So they're sturdy. Instead of the clamshells that right, the clam fall shells. apart all the time. Exactly. Right. And so I don't know why apart, every restaurant doesn't have those. They're perfect. Well, I mean, clamshells are way cheaper. Cheaper. I know. I know. So, but but also, I'm. Uh, it's going to make me have a bad experience. Yeah. Uh, nine times out of ten. Yeah. Probably. So I love the clamping yeah. ones that you're talking about. I love right. that. And I think Lemani Sal started doing that as well, yeah. using those kinds of. That's uh, excellent. I love their food. I can't believe I didn't mention them yet. Sorry. That's okay. There's the, so many. Hey there. I mean, the, they're still. You're going to be in bed the, tonight going, uh, oh, why didn't why I say didn't I such say and such? that on the podcast? The right. Pina Rihanna. Oh, oh you're just killing it's me. So I'm good. so hungry. Victor, we're going to have to stop at like six places <laughs> on the way home. Because <laughs> I have cravings for all of them. You know what? We, um, as you know, we live in downtown New Albany. Mm -hmm. And we there are a few restaurants that have really perfected the carry out. Oh yeah. Tell and me. um Brooklyn and the Butcher. Okay. So they they know. are still doing curbside pickup if you want. Yeah. So you just call them and say, Hey, I'm out front and they bring it out to you. Cask has really good oh, curbside yeah, like yeah, yeah. that too. They yeah. will bring it out to your car. I mean, that's wonderful because it's the whole point is not exposing yourself right. walking right. inside then that's what it needs to be. Right. Yeah. And I just feel respected by the yes. that place when they're doing that. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so we love Brooklyn and the Butcher. And then also what's really good carry out. Uh, so we get Brooklyn and the Butcher a lot. And mm -hmm. we do like Board New, but we love the uh, charcuterie board at Brooklyn and the Butcher. Yeah. Oh, it's really? so good. Yes. I haven't had theirs. I've and, obviously had the Board New one. Right, right, the, right. Which is so yeah. good. And oh, their yeah. burgers are really good too at yes. Board New. And then we love um, Floyd County Brewing. Mm -hmm. We get takeout from there a lot. They yeah. have the best fish sandwich on Marble Rye, if you Ooh. like that sort of thing. It's uh -huh. really good. Have you been to Upland Jeffersonville? Uh, not yet. Okay. I not need to go yet. there, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we should. Uh, we can't yeah. really. But we're, we're the takeout family. <laughs> but someday, someday. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, my specific condition that I have, I mm -hmm. just watched a pod, a vodcast, I guess, oh. um, uh, from some scientists who said they're working specifically right now. They're really excited. Mm -hmm. They are expecting a breakthrough mm -hmm. for me to at least be able to survive COVID if I catch Yay. it. Yeah. So I'm very, very excited about oh. that. But that's a whole other that's a whole other podcast. I've had so much fun getting to know you a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. I could go all night and ask yeah. you a thousand more well, questions. Thank you for your interest. It's not all the time that it's reciprocated like that and obviously I don't have like a business to like promote or whatever so thank you for the reciprocity well thank you for letting me you're so generous and open with every all your all your answers oh well and yeah. I appreciate that you're well welcome. we'll have to do it again sometime that's fine with me <laughs> all right all right oh and with anchor.fm you can use the app if you download the app on your phone, right. I, can call, I can send you an invitation. You just tap on it, and we can record it remotely. Oh, 
fantastic. So it would be a safe option for you. I didn't realize that, I or know, I might, I, I may you. have suggested uh, that for this meeting so that you would be safer. Um, but it's okay. Victor yeah. and I are wearing masks, and mm-hmm. we keep ourselves safe. Yes. We try not to put that on other people. Mm-hmm. We don't have expectations that mm-hmm. other people are going to do that. So Victor and I sat here this whole time with masks on. Yes, and so, I was very glad that it worked with the sound because yeah, yeah, sometimes it doesn't. But um, just so you know, that is an option for you to do that Thank remotely. You. That's great to know. So, all right, Anchor.fm, you go ahead and sponsor this podcast because I'm going to talk you up. <laughs> but thanks for listening. Thank you for And I guess we'll see you in the next one.